The Kenya National Trading Corporation has refuted claims that it has imported genetically modified maize. KNTC says it does not have the financial muscle with only 600 million shillings in its accounts. KNTC Managing Director Pamela Mutua has told the National Assembly that the 600 million shillings are earmarked for the purchase of rice from local farmers. The corporation says it has no role in the importation of the 10 million bags of BT maize, adding that its funds are not sufficient enough to import maize. We've never imported maize or we've not imported anything uh, in, in, in our business so far. We are dealing locally. KNTC Managing Director Pamela Mutua further says it's yet to receive a directive from the government to purchase maize to stabilize flour prices. And as I've said, because it was not in my purview within the organization, we've not even had a sitting as management to deliberate on the same or even with our board to have discussions on the maize importation or the GMO. There has been an uproar in the last month after the government lifted a 10-year ban on the import and cultivation of GMO products in Kenya. Mutua says KNTC will only purchase BT maize once it concludes its consultation with other stakeholders. Everybody has a right to make a choice. We need to give the pros and the cons and then people can make a wise decision. Um, I think what we need to do is perhaps uh, structure the conversation differently rather than just talk about GMO. Yesterday, a high court in Nairobi barred the government from importing and distributing GMO maize in Kenya until a case filed by a lobby group called Kenya Peas and Farmers Group is heard and determined. The case will come up for mention on the 15th of December 2022.